Systems administration is such a cool field. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because every day is a mystery. Some days will be quiet and peaceful. You'll have the freedom and flexibility to work on projects, research new technology, automate existing processes, or surf the internet. Other days will be hectic. Servers crashing, coworkers crying, mom calling because her Wi-Fi crashed. My point is, it's a diverse gig that will keep you on your toes, and over time, you'll be developing a diverse skill set. Let's take a closer look at the roles and responsibilities of a system administrator. Let's begin with a high-level look of all the administration roles within an organization. Let's start down here in the lower right with our network administrator. These guys and gals are responsible for our network infrastructure, which consists of routers and switches and the traffic flowing through them. Going clockwise here, we also have web administrators. These folks are responsible for maintaining web servers. Web server is a fancy term for a server, a machine in our data center that hosts websites and web services. And they're also responsible for exposing those websites and web services externally to the internet, as well as to our internal users. Moving on up, we also have security administrators. These peoples are responsible for, you guessed it, securing our systems and our network. They're also responsible for firewalls, both hardware firewalls living on our network and outside of our network, as well as software firewalls living on our machines themselves. Think of these guys as traffic cops, kind of like mall cops, only instead of sitting in malls, they're sitting on our network and punching holes in our firewalls to allow applications to access certain services within our network and on our machines. Another very important administration role is the database administrator, the ones responsible for our database servers and the databases living on those servers. Databases are used by applications to read and write data. So these guys are responsible for ensuring the integrity and efficiency of that data. And that brings us to the man, the myth, the legend, the system administrator. These guys are special, and here's why. All of these roles and other roles that I haven't listed here, such as developers and standard users and power users, they all need to go through the system administrator usually to request permission via their user accounts to perform their configurations and everyday duties and just access the system in general. Another interesting note about sysadmins, and this is where the diversity and learning on the job comes into play, is that for small companies, a sysadmin may wear many hats. It may actually be all of these in one. In a small company, we're talking less than 50 users. In a medium-sized company, we'll say less than 200 users, a sysadmin may wear just a couple of hats. Maybe it's the sysadmin, the web administrator, the network administrator, and then we have dedicated roles here for the security admin and the database admin. And in a large organization where you have thousands of users, each one of these roles will be dedicated either to an individual or a team of individuals. So you can see that the sysadmin is really at the center of the universe here and plays a vital role no matter the size or type of organization. So you can begin to see why systems administration is such a great starting point in IT, because everybody needs a sysadmin. Now, what does a sysadmin actually do? One of the primary responsibilities of a sysadmin is installing and configuring operating systems on servers in our data centers and on workstations at our client sites, and then also maintaining those operating systems by applying patches, updates, and hotfixes. We're also responsible for, again, configuring those systems and also installing and configuring the software that are going to live on those systems. Sysadmins are also responsible for dictating and delegating access to both our machines and the data within our environment. We're also responsible for business continuity, which is a fancy word for minimizing data loss in the event of a disaster. And this is another primary responsibility here is taking daily backups of our systems. Because if a disaster were ever to occur, which believe me it does <laughs> quite often, the power can go out and zap all of our systems and natural disasters occur much more frequently these days it seems. So when that happens, we can restore from our most recent backup to prevent data loss. This next one is one of my favorite parts about being in the system administration field and really just IT in general, analyzing and troubleshooting. You'll be analyzing and troubleshooting your own system related issues. Like you have a server that's acting up and it's just not performing as it should. It's really slow. So you need to get onto that server to figure out why. Or a user related issue. You get a call from Susie at three o'clock in the afternoon. I can't log in. 
Well, how come, Susie? Why can't you log in? It tells me I have the wrong password, but I'm entering in the right password. Well, is your caps locks on, Susie? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Well, you've locked yourself out of your account, Susie Q. Let me take care of that for you. And then you're responsible for finding her account and unlocking it or resetting the password. Or my absolute favorite is being tech support for friends and family, which I must warn you, once you get some skills here in IT, you will be that person. So brace yourself. Friends and family are coming for you. In fact, this just happened to me a few weeks ago. My mother called me out of the blue. Garth, my internet doesn't work. I'm like, well, Mom, do you know what a router is? No. I'm like, all right. How long ago did the internet go down? Well, about a half hour ago. And what were you doing a half hour ago? Vacuuming. I'm like, aha, you unplugged the router. So go plug in whatever you unplugged. And sure enough, that did the trick. And by the way, pro tip, you can also use that to your advantage. I have kids that don't like doing homework. So when they don't get their homework done, dad unplugs the Wi-Fi and you swore a meteor hit the house. <laughs> dad, the internet doesn't work. I know, I know. Show me your homework. Is it done? No. Well, when it's done, the internet will start working again, kiddos. Anyway, I could go on forever and ever. I've got some fun stories, and uh, someday you will as well. And finally here, assisting users and team members. As I mentioned here, everything flows through the system administrator. So we're helping users with their accounts and their access. We're helping team members with their accounts, their access to get all of their jobs done. So now you can see why this is such a diverse gig. Systems administrators are at the center of the IT universe. We are the gods and gatekeepers of our infrastructure, and it's our sole responsibility to keep the systems within that infrastructure running smoothly day by day. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.